We're now speaking to Boris Bobresco, who is Head of Business Development and Airport and In-Flight Solutions at Norwegian.com. Mr. Bobresco, perhaps you can tell our viewers a little bit about your experience so far in the in-flight Wi-Fi from Row 44 that, you, that your airline is using. Well, we are, as you might know, the first airline outside America with the, the Row 44 solution. We're actually the only airline in Europe flying on a single aisle aircraft with the connectivity right now. So we're very pleased to be the first mover in uh, Europe. We have uh, great feedback from our customers. They have uh, asked for more aircrafts. So we have uh, just announced that we will increase our installation uh, path and uh, are now promising uh, 30 something aircraft within this year. 30, 30 the aircraft by the end of the year? Yeah. How many do you have at the moment? Uh, we have 15 at the moment. So you'll be doubling the fleet? So you'll have it, will it be system wide by the end of the year? Uh, not system wide. We have, we'll have about 50% of our aircraft equipped by the end of this year. <laughs> And what's the plan to do with the other 50%? You'll be doing the same? We will continue in the next year as well, in, in the installation. So. And what has the take-up been like in terms of passenger um, acceptance? Uh, it, dif it differs from route to route, but we are seeing high numbers at, uh, that is over 80%. And uh, in general, we are between 30 and 50% take-up. So we are very, very pleased with that. Is that ahead of, ahead of your plan, or is that about what you expected? Well, we, we expected it to be popular. But uh, you can say that it's uh, being more popular than we expected. And do you find that the pattern of use is different by, by the routes? The longer the route, the more popular the... The, uh, the longer the route, the more popular. The, uh, but it differs between the leisure route, routes and the business routes, what people are doing on board. So you might say that uh, on the short business traffic uh, routes, we do have... Uh, different user, user uh, experiences uh, versus the leisure flights where people are doing other things. And the usage of the of passenger usage, is that typically using the free free serve service or is it, or, or do you have a paid service as well? Right now we have a uh, free entry service. So, so uh, as we are installing, we are uh, uh, having a, a free trial. So, uh, and there's no bandwidth challenge with, with usage at those levels? Uh, it depends what the customers are doing. Of course, when we have uh, 30 people trying to stream uh, a movie, we do uh, suffer sometimes. Uh, but in general, we have a great experience. And have you been able to monitor which which um, technologies people are using the most? Is it, is it mobile phones? It's mobile phones, uh, handhelds, 60-70% uh, handhelds. So that's actually a surprise to us, a surprise to us that right. the handheld market is so active on our records. And you, do you expect that to continue? Yes, we do. do does, your, does, your air, does your airline tend to add seat pack power to keep people's devices charged? Uh, no, we don't. But uh, we recognize that uh, uh, devices increase their uh, battery capacity every month. So. Right. If you take the iPad, it has nine hours. <laughs> Our longest flight is for six hours. So. so you're okay, you don't need power for now? No, we don't need power. And customer doesn't even ask for it. So. Thank you so much. Thank you.